everybody it's Kylie the jellyfish today I'm gonna do a really fun video about plug your holes again I haven't made a video about plug your holes in a while this is gonna be the first full collection of my brand new size. I recently just sized up to 9 16 which is actually just about a millimeter above half an inch, but um, once you get to those higher sizes, you know, just like an, a millimeter is a lot to stretch, so uh, it's taken me a while. I never really wanted to reach 9 16 but my ears naturally stretched there on their own, so I decided to kind of officially declare myself a 9 16 lobe. <laughs> and I got a whole collection from Plug Your Holes of multiple of my favorite plugs. If you would like to check them out, there is a link in the description below, and if you want to, you can use my discount code Kylie the Jellyfish for 15% off. I lost both of the papers that had the lists of all the actual names, so I'm going to do my best to describe these plugs instead of saying their official name on the uh, website. The first plugs I wanted to show you were the two that are in my ear. I have one in each ear just to show you guys. My ears get a little irritated um, if I'm constantly switching out plugs. Being freshly stretched up, it it's also going to be a little bit too tight to try all of these on at once. but. Um, these are my favorites. I really like rainbow and oil slick colors. So uh, these both kind of have that theme going on. This one right here is steel threaded tunnel. So if you look at the back, there's actually a hole back there, but then there's a face on it, a geo oil slick colored crystal, and it is an externally threaded back to it. So you can just slide it right on. There's no flare on it. The other ones that I have in are another stainless steel that is anodized metal to look rainbow as well. These ones are single flared. I mean double flared so there's a flare on this side and there's a flare on this side but of course the smaller side is the one I can squeeze through. <laughs> I like wearing tunnels because it makes me really proud of the size that I stretch to. It's like I'm not cheating, I'm not lying, I really have a hole in my ear. Also guys say hello to my brand new camera. I'm still going to be using my old Nikon uh, D3200 every now and then but uh, Scott just bought me a GoPro for our anniversary which is uh, in two days it's our second anniversary and he got me this awesome camera it's super high quality in HD and it's literally this tiny so I'm loving it I'm really happy I have it you guys will end up seeing a lot of vlogs and adventures and road trips on this camera so welcome to its first look so these plugs that I have are actually half an inch but I wanted to keep them in the pile because they're slightly on the bigger side of half an inch because because um, most organic plugs will kind of like have a little bit of a range where it's like, oh, they, they're tightly fitting or they're loosely fitting, um, just like clothes. These ones are all kind of just the, on the bigger side of half an inch to the point where they're basically 9 16 for me. So I just like to keep them in here because I still want to utilize old plugs that I have as best as I can, even though they barely fit anymore. These ones really are just my loose, comfortable plugs. These are what I'll be wearing whenever my ears are acting up or I just like really need a break from like the tightness of having a bigger size. But the rest of them are in these four boxes and a whole bunch in my hand right here. These are all hangers. Plug Your Holes sent me some really cute stickers. I love them. There's like a teal one and a blue one. And this is um, Plug Boy from Plug Your Holes. Wait, I should be wearing a Plug Your Holes shirt. What am I doing? I now have my Plug Your Holes Death Moth shirt and it closely resembles my Death Moth tattoo. All right. So they also have these little stickers of a skeleton riding a surfboard. They're cool. I love their aesthetic. They also sent me this really awesome pin. I'm probably going to put it on one of my sweaters or one of my hats. And I wear a lot of beanies in the fall and winter. So uh, this one is um, a Friday the 13th themed skull, kind of like a flash tattoo. So I wanted to also just really quickly appreciate the heck out of their new packaging. Um, I don't know how new it is, but I love that they have these like, just it, it feels like a very sanitary, clean, 
organized bag with um, the logo all over it and it's just like very well done it's it's a sealed bag ziploc and it, I just feel like it's a very clean organized design I love the way they've done it. Thanks, Jer Picks. I love Picks so much. And this one has a, um, a skull with a little mask on because hashtag COVID-19 is happening right now. So let's actually get onto the plugs. I'm so excited about this. So let's start off by talking about these hangers. I love hangers because they don't exactly fit into the ear perfectly. You don't have to have a super stretched ear like a super stretchy ear to wear them they're actually really good for if you're trying to loosen up your skin a little bit more over time they're not aggressive they're not too heavy but hangers are usually a form of weight that is lightly and evenly distributed over the lobe to kind of like just stretch it out a little bit more to give more comfort for uh, different types of plugs but that's not the only reason they're actually just really cute they're like dangly earrings really a silicone plug that's really stretchy can also be a really great um, way to wear wear hangers. You could just like put it into the plug that's already in your ear that has a hole through it. These are silver, I don't know exactly what kind of metal they are, but they are silver hangers and they kind of look like little wings, but they're more like leaves. They're really cute though. Uh, I'm a big fan of silver jewelry. I like cool tones on myself, so. These ones are gold. Look super fancy. These ones are actually tunnels that have a dangly embellishment charm on them. I actually have these plugs in half an inch as well, um, but I'm totally cool with having them again in my regular size now because they're kind of perfect for like fancy events. Like anytime I just really want to like wear something dangly it's because I'm going to like a really fancy party so sometimes for like work events especially peacock feathers and the middle of it looks to be a mother of pearl oh and it's a steel it's a stainless steel externally threaded screw back All right, moving on to the stone plugs. My opalite. On the website, they call this opal, but uh, technically the stone is called opalite because it is an opalized glass that resembles the stone opal. In plugs, you call anything that's naturally occurring. If a plug is more naturally occurring than plastic or silicone, then it's it can be considered organic. Okay. With that out of the way, these are my opalite plugs. So I like them because when you're looking at it with something dark behind it, it looks kind of blue. But then when you look at them, oops, I am going crazy today. <laughs> oh man, that's really back there. I'm gonna have to move everything to get it. Okay, well, good thing I have this one in my hand. Um, when you hold it up with the light behind it, it looks kind of pinky, like kind of peachy. And uh, I also have them in a tunnel version. I love opalite. I've always been obsessed with opalite. There's an opal stone in my nose and um, I have an opal necklace right there. And uh, I just love the color of that iridescency. But I also like white plugs on myself because they kind of just contrast if I want to wear a lot of black, which I usually do. And then on the other hand, I am just a really big fan of stones in general. Sometimes I'll charge even my plug stones because I use them for meditation sometimes, very rarely, because I don't meditate very often, I'm too energetic. Um, these ones are Tiger's Eye Stone Tunnels. Oh, these are Malachite. This is my very first pair of plugs that are Malachite plugs. And I am just so shooketh by how beautiful they are. They kind of look like little green zebra stripes, I guess. Um, it just reminds me of something so exotic. Like, I feel like I'm in the rainforest when I wear these. Ah. You guys like the sound? I love holding, like, just a palm full of stones and just nice. 
And then these are sodiolite. I've been talking about sodiolite for a while with Scott. I've been telling him, oh, I need sodiolite stones because I have none. I have none. And like, I just don't know why I haven't had any in a while. Um, but these are concave. So they're kind of lighter because of that. Sometimes plugs that are stone can just end up being really heavy. Uh, so I feel like it helps a lot if it's a little bit concave. They kind of just look like little tiny oceans inside of the stone. I should be an ASM artist. And then last but not least in this particular box, I have rainbow fluorite. That's what it's called, rainbow fluorite. So it's actually, it's like um, a crystal see-through, but then it has little bands through it of different colors, usually a good amount of teal and purple. And those are my two favorite colors, so definitely my theme. These are some more stainless steel and uh, just metal tunnels. So these ones are kind of like a rose gold metal and they are double flared. There's no screws on it. There's nothing to pop it open. You just got to wedge your lobe onto the, onto the lip of it and stretch it open. Just squeeze it right in there. So I haven't put these on yet because that sounds kind of painful and I'm waiting to just oil them up and do it. I love these because they're so shiny and just like really thin and smooth and like I said before, tunnels just kind of accentuate your lobe a little bit better. It kind of just shows off how big your stretched hole really is and that's kind of impressive to me so show everyone how cool I am. Oh, these ones are so 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 pretty. I love these. So these are, I don't know what they're called, but they are <laughs> They're rhinestones, I guess. They're they're giant sparkly things and they have like almost like a dark oil slick rainbowy shine inside of them. And then the metal on them is a black stainless steel metal. And even though it looks like they're double flared and you could just push them right into your ear. I probably could once I get an, um, enough flexibility out of my lobe, but currently it's really nice that I have a single flare on it because I can take that off. And this one is internally threaded, which means the screw is actually on the outside of attachment and it kind of goes inside. So when I'm pulling this part of the plug out, I'm not like scraping the uh, little ridges on the screw against my fragile little ears. And then these ones are cute little hoops. These ones, I, I don't know what they're called, but um, my God, they're interesting. So if you just pull on them, they kind of open up like this. I'm wondering, like I, these could probably be used on my nose if I had like a really stretched septum and then just have like a huge, I'm just picturing just like a, <laughs> that's so funny. I want to see someone wear this on their nose. Okay, so I love that you can just like open it up because then like, you know, you can put it on any plug. Like as long as there's a hole in it, you can just put it through the hole, snap it shut, and now you have an extra embellishment. It's also a weight. Like these are actually pretty heavy. Like they have a weight to them. I don't know what it's made out of, but uh, they look a little bit like the skin of a snake. They have like a little bit of this like crisscross pattern on them and I love snakes so I love weights can't sleep with them on because I sleep on my side and I just get so annoyed by things that really mess with my like pressing against my neck and so I have these teardrop shaped amethyst plugs these ones are so pretty so one of my favorite stones in the world is amethyst and as you can tell it's one of my favorite colors too um so i wear this a lot with all kinds of stuff i just have so many purple things so i might as well wear purple jewelry with it and i love natural plugs so this one is a favorite by default some cat eye in a light gray and they're concave again with the um ability to be a little bit lighter weight. I love a good gray shiny plug though. Like they're they're just one of those plugs that you can wear anything with. Nice and simple. 
really eye-catching too. And then I love any kind of like a seafoam green or just like a, I don't know, like a minty cyan. These are cat eye, I don't, turquoise cat eye plugs. I'm guessing the name of the color, but they're so pretty. And I feel like the, the light reflection in cat eye plugs gives it such a eye-opening effect. They look bigger because of the way it looks on the inside of the plug. Out of the hangers, these are my favorite. So these ones are, they did not distinguish whether these are uh, amethyst or agate, I'm not sure, but the top is dipped in like what seems like a layer of some kind of gold and then it's a really organically shaped stone and there's a little hook and that's how you wear it. You could wear these um, with your naked ear or you could wear them with like a silicone tunnel, I guess. Just like that. And last but not least, I have my glass plugs. I love glass plugs so much. So these ones are crushed crystal glass. I, I'm not sure how to explain them, but they're they're cracked on the inside, so they kind of just look like crushed ice. <laughs> but I love clear plugs for the same reason that I love tunnels. They just kind of show through the ear, and you're like, whoa, that's really a hole in the ear. And then these ones are see-through, but they're kind of that bubble iridescency, so they're kind of like holographic. Ooh, these are gonna be so cute with so many of my rave outfits. And they like shine like a rainbow in any direction. And these ones are pretty similar, but instead of it being all over, and on the back of them, they have a design with a little bit of a dye through it so that it's kind of iridescent, like a little oil slick rainbow inside. But the convexity, or I don't really know the word for it, is what magnifies the fish design. And then you can really see that like pretty rainbow shine on the inside. And those ones are all double flared. And this one is also double flared with another convex face to it. And on the back there's like a design on the inside. Kind of looks like a really dark galaxy. It's so pretty. It just reminds me of like a an evil dragon's eyeball. Well guys, that's my whole plug collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so, so much plug your holes i love my entire collection i had so much fun like kind of organizing it and making a whole bunch of little mandalas and designs out of all the plugs because i like to lay them out and just look at them all together i love all the stickers that i have too because these are great for when i have a new brush at work and i need to claim it as mine i put stickers on all my stuff so everyone knows that it's mine, don't touch. Definitely wear all these plugs over the course of the year. I'm just getting there where I can finally stretch my ears like with a little bit of a flare to it. Before, my plugs were always too loose on me because I had been wearing half an inch for so long, but I have a lot of heavy stone plugs. So they were to that point where it's like, oh, okay, some of them are falling out. I might as well stretch up and just kind of have like a really fun journey all over again. I love uh, plugs because it's kind of like a passion or a, just a hobby, like being able to collect them. They are a form of art, like they're just little, they're little beautiful pieces of art. And then on top of that, you get to wear it and show it off. You could also meditate with it or bury it and charge it and then hold it, you know. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like it and click the link in the description to go check out Plug Your Holes and look for merch, look for hats, look for plugs, and um, look for me on their Instagram page to plug your holes. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay epic, everyone. Bye.